Hey guys, Q&A number five. Let's get right to it here. Is red meat bad? Um, no, given a few certain circumstances. So if you have something like hemochromatosis where um, you have excessive iron storage or uh, excessive iron levels in the body, then red meat might be a uh, not the best idea for you. Um, you'd have to check that out and check your iron levels. And then also if you just don't digest red meat all that well, um, yeah, and you, you could probably tell pretty quickly uh, after eating it if you just, you know, digestion gets a little thrown off, senses, it tends to sit in your stomach, you just get that heavy feeling uh, post red meat meal. Um, other than that though, if you digest it well, you feel good with it, um, by all means it's chock full of nutrients, so it's a good way to go, but it's not bad. Do carbs make you fat? Um, yes and no. So. Any excessive calorie load you can add body fat with. Protein on one hand, I mean it's really difficult to overeat protein so it's tough to store it as fat. But um, if you overeat carbohydrate, you overeat fat or you, you know, over consume alcohol, um, you can gain body fat. But as long as your portions are in control, um, you are going to be good to go. But uh, do carbs make you fat? Uh, yes and no, they can. Um, but as long as your portions are under control, you're good to go. Should you weigh and measure your food? I, I think it's a really good practice to have just to get an idea of proper portioning. So practicing weighing and measuring some food for a little bit. Um, okay, you know, this is how much food my body needs. This is what makes me feel satiated or full or you know, I'm still hungry after a certain amount of food. So it's a really good place to start and get a, a really solid foundation as far as portions go. Um, do you have to weigh and measure your food for the rest of your life? I, I just don't think it's maintainable unless you want to, by all means, sweet, do it. I don't, um, but I have a really solid grip on portions and how much food my my body wants and needs. So it's a super, it's a super good tool and it's a useful tool to start out with, um, but I don't think that you need to weigh and measure your food for the rest of your life. I think that's a little bit overboard. So uh, that's it for today. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below, and if you have any questions for future Q&As, uh, fire them my way and hope you got something out of this. Thanks for watching. See ya.